Powered by Ford. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen at CES 2012, checking out the latest from Sensex. You probably think that I look awesome right now. I, I actually happen to believe I look awesome. And that is because I'm checking out this prototype here of what would be a, a, a pair of like smart virtual reality goggles. And this really differs from some of the other VR, AR solutions that we've seen in the past in that this entire rig that I'm wearing right now is an ice cream sandwich Android device. So the media, the games, the, the programs and all that is built into this. And they've done some really interesting things with it in that I'm actually using a, uh, like these cameras here are kind of sensor input. So I could like swipe to the left, swipe to the right. And since it has all these cameras, it can actually tell like, you know, some gestures and things of that nature. And you can imagine with like a game controller being able to actually interact with a virtual environment, wearing a headset. I got my, my speakers here. And what I'm seeing here in these goggles is a really clear image. Uh, the, we're actually talking about a uh, 1280 by 1024 display and these are using like less than an inch small OLED um, displays and I just find this fascinating because I, I really think that when you put it all together the package when it has everything I think it totally opens up you know a market that probably hasn't been dreamed of in like a decade and, and that's so cool because you know I think we're, we're on the cusp of that so so they're here just looking, you know, to bring awareness to this, to look for partners, obviously, with Android. There's been some really cool 3D games, and as you can imagine, with this SDK, they could do some pretty cool stuff as far as, like, bringing this platform to more games and, uh, and other applications. I mean, I could imagine even Google Earth being pretty wicked with this. And uh, as well as, you know, look for a manufacturer. This right here is a prototype. Um, so this probably doesn't look like what the final product would be. And th while they're not talking about pricing, they are talking about just, you know, kind of hinting about what the pricing of kind of premium electronics like your, your standard, you know, high-end um, portable gaming system or tablet would be. So I guess that's what you could imagine this to be if and when it comes to market. And uh, I just think it really needs to because as hackers, come on, we are really style conscious. And, uh, and this right here, this. This is style. Anyway, for more CES coverage, go ahead and head over to revision3.com slash CES. And of course, thank you to Ford for powering our CES coverage. The Ford Fiesta comes equipped with Sync App Link, allowing you to control your favorite mobile phone applications through voice control. The Pandora app allows you to tell Sync the names of songs and artists, and it'll serve up a radio station personalized to you. Pandora, please say a command. PlayStation, M83 Radio. Sync App Link allows you to keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.